Hi, it's Darren Epic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's content, we're going to basically discuss the five most expensive homes in Los Angeles. So today's show is really more like the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And watch me get drunk on a martini while I enjoy myself. If you like the video you see today, please like it. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. And once again, I'm a luxury realtor at Sotheby's on Sunset in West Hollywood. Here we go, counting down the five most expensive homes in Los Angeles. Ta-ta. So number five on the list, the Wallingford Estate in Beverly Hills, 90210. Uh, listed by Ginger Glass at Compass at a whopping $85 million. Uh, this is owned and was redone by developers. It's on a little bit over five acres. Uh, it's beautifully reimagined. Property has pretty much everything you can ask for. Stunning mountain views, indoor sports complex, uh, the biggest zero edge pool in Beverly Hills a 5,000 square foot guest penthouse, um, a caretaker house, 10 car garage, and enough parking for 80 of the richest people that you will never meet in the world. So number five on our list, the Wallingford Estate, listed at $85 million. Number four on the list is the Azria Estate, uh, owned by founders of BCBG. Here you're gonna see luxury, it's all in the details. It was designed by Paul Williams in the 1930s, it's a beautiful home up in the Holmby Hills of Bel Air. Uh, the price tag on this one is a whopping $85 million. Um, when you first look at it from the outside, you may wonder why it's $85 million, but if you go take a peek on the inside, you're gonna find out why real fast. It's got 17 bedrooms, 25 baths, 30,000 square feet. Um, the estate features 60 different rooms. It's visibly stunning in almost every room. Uh, one of the key things you see when you first come in by the, the you know dual staircase is a chandelier that goes from floor to ceiling. Um, it's just breathtaking. Like I said, it's all about the details on this one. Uh, it has a 6,000 square foot structure with a grand theater and gold ceiling dome library. The grounds are just lush and beautiful. It has a glass wall tennis court next to a Moroccan bathhouse. Everything complements the swimming pool area, the blue tiled swimming pool. It has a Japanese garden, tea house, French courtyard, another greenhouse. This place is just one of a kind, truly exceptional. If you look at it, you can tell that, you know, the founders of a, a great fashion brand like BCBG definitely put their touch on everything. Um, so number four on the list, Azria Estate, $85 million up there in Bel Air and Holmby Hills. Number three on the list, up there in Bel Air, I'm gonna call it the 777 Estate because he likes a lot of things done with the number seven. The price tag is 87, 777, 777. So it's 87.777 million. Seven bedrooms, 11 baths. Square footage to be determined, but it's a big home. Uh, it's listed by Mauricio Umansky at the agency and Aaron Kerman at Compass. They spent seven years improving the property. So there's the number seven again. In actuality, he actually tore down the pretty much the whole property, almost down to the studs. So, and it spent seven years, you know, redoing it or giving it a facelift, if you will. Um, the owner is actually uh, a cosmetic surgeon. Uh, the name of the property is coined as the Palazzo de Vista. This property has some of the great, greatest views in all of Los Angeles from San Gabriel Mountains to the Channel Islands. The main entrance is one of the selling points. It features a marble bridge um, that takes you to the main door. The living room has a retractable DJ table. If you look around, you see in the photos, all you're gonna see is some really great design and probably the views, like it said, from San Gabriel to the Channel Islands is probably one of the key selling points. They say you feel like you're on top of the world and you're gonna pay for it. It's 87.777 million. And if I didn't mention before, two of the five properties on this list are a plastic surgeon and uh, cosmetic surgeon. So for those of you at home, may want to consider that as your career choice. Number two on the list, 908 Bel Air Road. This is a spec mansion that was done by a plastic surgeon and developer, Dr. Raj Kanadia. He basically at one point had it listed at 180 million dollars just because his neighbor at one point had his had his house listed that much right now it's 99 million dollars um, it's listed by rainy williams and brandon williams spec mansion in bel-air uh, it's nine bedrooms 20 baths 34,000 square feet you're gonna see the pictures below uh, it's a truly unique property one could argue that it's modern exotic beautiful mansion architecturally beautiful gorgeous lush gardens striking water features a little bit of everything. The moment you enter the, the property, 
you know, 29 foot ceilings, views galore. Probably the best thing is it's just a whole compound with a little bit of every detail thought of. They say you have views from the mountains to Catalina Island. You probably do if you're paying for that much for a house. And it also has great master suites, a 90 foot infinity pool. These are some of the selling points of this property. It's truly one of a kind. Listed at $99 million, uh, number two on the list, number two in our hearts. Number one on the list, Steve Wynn's Beverly Hills Estate. Um, it's listed at $115 million. He bought the property for $48 million in 2015. Steve decided with his designers and internal people to put their touches on it. If you've been to the Winter Encore or any of his Wynn Resort properties, they're exceptional and his style and taste and design is top of the line, pure luxury. This place is no different. It's currently listed, like I said, for $115 million by Fred Bernstein and Ethan Pekowitz at the WA Homes. It's 11 bedrooms, 16 baths, a little over 27,000 square feet. It's right off Benedict Canyon, private entrance, private driveway, uh, one of the best areas in all Beverly Hills, uh, almost three acres. When he bought it in 2015, he obviously put a whole comprehensive remodel on the place. Like I said, he put his touches on it. Main things were interior as well as landscaping, and he's known for his details. Um, the estate features formal gardens, resort-sized gym, state-of-art screening room, massage room, lighted tennis court, an oversized pool with a pool house and kitchen tucked in the corner of the lot. Like I said, if you've been to any of his hotel properties, is a mastermind of luxury. He's like the epitome of luxury. Uh, it's not Donald Trump, it's Steve Wynn. Um, so his house is no different. I'm not surprised he's commanding a $115 million price tag for his property um, because it's exceptional. So Steve Wynn's Beverly Hills Estate is number one on our list at $115 million. Thank you so much for stopping by the, as I call it, the Lifestyles of Rich and Famous or my YouTube channel, Darren Epic, this time. Um, we kind of like took one from Robin Leach, which was a show I loved watching as a kid. Um, if you like the video you saw today, please like it. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. We do a new video every Saturday at 2 p.m. Usually it's more informational, educational for people that are looking to buy and sell in Los Angeles or learn more about property. We kind of try to stick to Los Angeles. We may venture out to other areas or you know more things about homes and housing. Um, but right now, that's what we're sticking to. Five of the most expensive homes in Los Angeles. We have some of the most expensive homes and properties in all of the world. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you.